It's an even better one of a chimpanzee on a golf cart. It's me, I'm on a stick. Have a word. I want my dinner. I've done loads of work. I know when you're lying, Jerry, your cheeks wobble. Whatever happened to your community service, by the way? Or should I say you get out of jail free card? Oh, I start tomorrow, actually. Sorry, just not having a good day. Look, I need to ask you some questions about Liv. Oh, what's happened? Is she in trouble? No, but she's been drinking, and I mean a lot. So I want to know when it started and who got you the booze. Don't worry, you're not in any bother. I just need to understand. Right, well, I I guess we were drinking a bit more lately when I was blackmailing Daz into buying his alcohol. But you know we drank before, like, at the pavilion or whatever. It's not like she's got a big problem or anything. Yeah, she has. Wait, really? Was something going on with her? I mean, apart from the fact that you humiliated her. Well, I guess there was always pressure at school. And, yeah, there was court and we both felt really bad for Lisa. Liv seemed fine to me. Don't stress me, it won't be all bad. <laughs> I found a water bottle full of vodka in a school bag. She's been drinking at school. Every day, all day, maybe. So, yeah, it is pretty bad. Seb fell asleep in his buggy on the way back, so I put him in his car. Um, did you speak to Gabby? Yeah, she didn't know anything. What is so bad that Liv needs to drink to forget about? What? She told you it, it wasn't anything like that. Aaron, you need to believe her and stop torturing yourself. I knew she was stressed about the court case, but... Maybe she did start drinking after I went to prison, I just never realised. Well, who knows? I mean, we both had a lot going on. Yeah, and now I'm losing my little sister. Well, look, it's not all bad. There are some positives. I mean, she's doing a, a schoolwork now, and... I mean, at least she can't drink in there. She's still banged up 24-7. Yeah, I know, and it's terrible, but... I mean, she's seen a counsellor now, at least. Well, then it's worked out perfectly for her, on it? Mind you, you would say that. You started all of this. Uh, what? Sorry, how's this my fault now? Well, if it wasn't for you and Rebecca and Seven, all your other stupid mistakes, this would never have happened. I'd have kept my eye on the ball, I'd have seen something was wrong with Liv. I, I, I can't believe you just said that. 